Welcome to another edition of Extraordinary Sports. I'm your host, Alex Monaco, chilling here with the NBA power forward for the Los Angeles Clippers, Mr. Craig Smith. How we doing, my man? Thank you so much for being here. Nice for having me. We're in Los Angeles, your hometown, off season. How we doing? Things are uh, going well. Uh, sucks to be in the lockout, but at the same time, uh, just getting to join more time with family and friends and just continue to work out, you know, yeah, have some fun. So you got days off, I mean, you're working hard, trying to get better. What are what are some of your off-season goals here going this year? Off-season goals is to really be more consistent on uh, my perimeter game. I think everybody knows me for being such a, you know, bully down on the block. But uh, it's time to take take a couple steps away from the basket and uh, let them know that I have that too. So you play the four, but I asked you earlier, you can play the three in order to just Prove your versatility. I mean, are you down? I mean, can you go against uh, Carmelo and LeBron? I mean, I, you know, I, I play playing against Carmelo in college. So I mean, uh, you know, we guarded each other before. They like to guard me on the block sometimes too. But uh, definitely, I just probably have to, uh, you know, get my euro on, slam down a little bit, get all this bulk out, and then uh, yeah, be able to, you know, move with those guys. I gotta ask your highlight tapes every time you yam on someone. Your facial expressions, your body language is hilarious. You love to flaunt your dunk. So what is the favorite thing, your favorite thing to do after you dunk? After I dunk, I think it's more about flexing, man. I mean, I work hard in the weight room, man, you know, like every single day. So, you know, I just want to show everybody through my expressions. You know, uh, you know, this is my excitement. You know, this is my glory right here. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I just try to let them know. The full body just. <laughs> If I'm not mistaken, you got the cover of Sports Illustrated when you were at Boston College. At that young of an age, to get that kind of exposure, what does that do for your mentality, your ego? I mean, how, how did you handle that kind of national crisis? I was seeing it as a you know, boost of confidence that people were seeing uh, what I was about. And I was um, happy to be able to showcase you know, my blood, sweat, and tears out here and uh, you know, for it to be glorified. You know, and I, I was real proud of that, and uh, man, my mom especially was really proud of that, you know, trying to show everybody or buy all the magazines, but yeah. it was a great feeling, man, and, uh, something that uh, would take me to the grave, absolutely. So you also, when you were at Boston College, got the nickname, The Cookie Monster. Not only do I want to hear how you got that, I mean, if you could throw me an impression. I mean, I don't know. Was it because you were really good at the impressions? Were you munching chips ahoy all the time? Like So, uh, I run this guy after my freshman year in college, and he says, uh, hey, I want to do this little video shoot for you for the film. I think of you as the cookie monster, the way you gobble, 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 like all the balls. It's kind of like you and cookies. Like, the yeah. cookie monster doesn't want anybody, he doesn't want to share his cookies. So, yeah. me rebounding is comparable to a cookie. That's so legit. Yeah, so, um, like, so, after that, I mean, did you get did you get a bunch of cookie monster shout outs for people wanting you to just. Yeah, Ooh, they were just always the cookie monster, the cookie monster, the cookie monster. Yeah, so sometimes I'm like, yeah, cookies, cookies. Like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And you got another nickname once you got to the league, or unless you had it your whole life, Rhino. That's pretty high up in the animal kingdom, my that, friend. That's a, that's a pretty special name because um, Kevin McHale gave me that nickname. Really? So when I was in uh, Minnesota and. Uh, so you got that when you were yeah. a team? I got him on the team, it was my rookie year, so like KG was still on the team. I'm just beasting people. He's like, man, you're out here just horning people like a rhino. <laughs> so he starts saying that for the next week, and next thing you know, they just blew it up like one or everything. Now you're a hometown cat again, the Clippers. What's it like playing? I mean, growing up in LA, now you're at the Staples Center. That's right. insane. I have uh, you know, people that live in, uh, I mean, that do gardening. And every morning I hear him, hey, Clipper. <laughs> so, I mean, it's it's fun to be back home, man, playing for my family and friends, playing against great talents like Blake Griffin, Eric Gordon, DeAndre Jordan. Um, it's just a good feeling, man, to wake up knowing I don't have to be in 20 degree weather. I can just wake up, put some shorts on, put my Uggs on. You know, I hear it, you know, we wear the Ugg slippers and, you know, go to practice. You got a Twitter. Like tweeting a lot. Dude, I need some more followers, man. I, I see like everybody got millions of followers. And it's like some of them 
I don't. I'm not this, a hater, but it's but just look, different. You know. You got the the C Smeezy giveaway, don't yep. you? I, mean, I got the C Smeezy giveaways on Friday, every Friday. Make sure you check that out. We're giving something away, whether it be from shoes to I don't know. A, a shoe I found on the street or something outside or something like that. So, but um, yeah, I got I got the giveaways and stuff. I'm um, just doing a little bit, a lot more things, taking taking more pics. So make sure you guys tune into that. Give the followers, the listeners, the audience a breakdown of the challenge to go against you one on one. So there is a one on one challenge between me, and my friend right here, in a dodgeball game. One on one, no rules, cage match. <laughs> it's gonna be a good one on one match. I mean, I'm ready to see what you got. You know, you said you got you know some things under your sleeve, so I'm just ready to see. Before we bounce, being from San Diego, I just want to show my boy Craig that we used to host the Clippers, and we do extend an open invitation to you guys at any point. If you want to come back. We can easily put a dome on Qualcomm Stadium. It, it literally is one quick fix. No problem. I, I guess I had to talk to uh, you know people upstairs and let them know that uh, the offer is on the table. But until then, dodgeball challenge accepted. Dodgeball challenge. Yeah. Let's All right. Do I, it. I need to say one thing. It is my mom's birthday today, <laughs> so I do want to say happy birthday to her. And then my niece tomorrow. So happy birthday to both of you guys. That's a family man, right? <laughs>